Hey pretty gang, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Neek. Welcome. Now I know you guys are probably saying she just wore that jacket in another video. It's cool because I've done two videos tonight. I, I ain't been too long, got off work. I got off work at five o'clock. It's now 8.28 and I done filmed two videos, honey. <laughs> I'm on a roll. But hence why my ponytail looks a little afraid. But that's neither here nor there so i did just do a first impressions on the new nars um foundation so again that's why i have on the same outfit but i did a poll on twitter asking you guys if i should have a segment on my channel where we just sit down and we just talk you know um talk about whatever you guys want to talk about you guys can email me whatever um i want it to be like a little more intimate you know instead of just makeup tutorials whatever because I know I'm a beauty channel the beauty style channel it's cool and it's dandy but I know you guys have questions you know and I'll do my best to answer whatever question it is that you guys have you know I don't have I'm an open book pretty much I don't have a problem doing that so I did get some good feedback on Twitter um, which is great you know if you guys want to DM me questions you guys want to email me questions it's whatever so um, that's what we're going to do today. It's going to be a nice little short video. I just want some feedback from you guys. Let you, you know, see if you guys like to, like to say the video. You feel me? So, um, I do have an email here on my phone that I'm going to read. And I'm not going to say, if you guys send me an email, I will, like, like an email like this one. Like the one that I read. Like, I've already read the email. But, um, yeah, if you, if it's this type of email, I will never say your name. So, Pretty probably won't say anybody's name on any of these videos um but yeah let's just go ahead and read it so this says i'm sorry guys i gotta get comfortable so this says hey me i was wondering if you could help me with something so i've been dating this guy for about a year and i'm madly in love with him we spend almost every day together and when we aren't together we are either on the phone or texting okay but that's not what this email is about a month ago we got into a little spat now my parents hate him my mom was always on guard with him but now she doesn't like him even more my family is a very is is very close so we always have family events whereas he used to come to everything we had he no longer wants to come my mom is always talking negatively about him and just recently she tried to sabotage our relationship by trying to hook me up with one with her friend's son I hate the fact that my mom is being so disrespectful to him. We are currently planning on moving in together. Is this the right move? What should I do? I respect my mom's opinion and I know she only wants what's best for me. But I really think she's wrong this time. Thanks a lot, by the way. I love your channel. Aw, oh, thank you. So, um, basically, <sighs> this is a difficult one. It's not difficult, but... So basically what she's saying is she's in her she's been in this long-term relationship and her mom sounds like her mom never really cared too much for him um and now after they've had an argument i'm sorry i keep spinning in my chair i'm sorry y'all <laughs> but now after they've had an argument her mom doesn't like him even more which sucks i'm sorry to hear that um but here is my take on that i feel like you're in a relationship with him not your mom now it sounds to me if you guys are currently planning on moving in together i don't know if you're what your current living situation is i don't know if you're living with your parents or if you're living you know by yourself um but either way it goes i mean you kind of of course you have to respect your mom's household you have to respect you know the house but I don't agree with her talking negatively about him. Um, I mean, she's going to have her opinion. That's fine and dandy. She can have her opinion, you know. No, no Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Um, but whatever you say should not be carried over. I mean, whatever she says, sorry, should not be carried over to him. Because it's only going to cause bigger, like a bigger conflict, you know. And... With him not coming to the family events, you said he used to come to the family events. He no longer wants to. I can completely understand. You know, why would why would he want to be someplace that he's not welcomed? Right? So, what I would say 
or what me personally what I would do is I'd probably try to sit down with the both of them and well first I would probably sit down with my mom and figure out okay what exactly is the issue what don't you like about him you get what I'm saying like <laughs> like that's all I can say is what don't you like about him it's because the way you made it sound is as if she's always been on guard with him like she's never really cared too much for him so what is it that you don't like about him I mean if she didn't like him from Jump Street he didn't do nothing but come in but but meet your parents you get what I'm saying so it's like okay <laughs> But I just feel like, you know, I, I have personally never been in a situation where my mom didn't like the person I was dating. She kind of has always liked whoever it was that I was dating. Um, my mom's just one of those people, you know, she'll, she'll accept you until you give her a reason not to. So, I... It's, it's a difficult it's, it's a difficult topic you know because if you're really in love with this man you know I would per I would say again I would say sit down with your mom find out what the problem is mom you know just blatantly ask her mom what you don't like about him what did he do to you and if she can't give you a legit reason then be done with it you know be done with it but if she has a reason, I mean, like a legit reason, then I mean, hear her out. Listen, to, either way, hear her out and listen to her. Um, don't just brush her off. But then at some point, I feel like she needs to apologize to him. Especially if he hasn't said anything about her. She definitely needs to apologize to him because it's just, it's not right that she can, you know, talk about him. But if you guys are planning on moving in together, proceed. I wouldn't, I wouldn't let anything she says unless she can show you tangible evidence that hey he's this type of he's this type of dude why not like if you don't have no reason not to trust him or you don't have no no ill feelings towards him do what you want to do if you guys are moving in together then obviously you're grown you get what i'm saying like i i just i just this is this is how i feel there are parents out here that really like I, I, I don't know like there's parents out here that really do stuff like this like like they really try and sabotage somebody else's relationship like my question to you is are you an only child I mean are you an only child are you the baby Maybe she feels like she's losing you to, her, to him. But then again, like I said, you're in a relationship with him, not her. Like, you sleep with him, not her. Like, I mean, I'm, I just don't, I just don't know. I just feel like there's a conversation that definitely needs to be had. A respectable conversation, you know. But there is a conversation that needs to be had. And without that conversation, there's not going to be, there's not going to be any resolution to the issue. So, that is my take on that one. Um, I really do hope everything gets better. I don't, you know, I don't force, I don't foresee it being bad continuously because eventually she's going to get tired of, she, she's going to get tired of, you know, talking about him. Like, because what's going to happen is, this is what's going to happen. There's going to be an event that he's probably going to come to. And if he's being respectable, manable, people are going to be looking at her like, why you don't like him? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what's going to happen pretty much. So, again, definitely have that conversation with your mom. Let her know, hey, I'm with him. He's going to be here. He's not going nowhere. And see where it goes. It can't go nowhere, but, but right, pretty much. So, that's how I feel on that. Um, so that was, <laughs> that was intense, you know, I like, like when I first read the email, I had to sit down, I, I done got comfortable with you guys, I told you, like this is not, this, this ain't no, like, this ain't no formal video, <laughs> like, but, um, I'm not comfortable with everything, but 
this was definitely something that I had to sit down and think about because I have never been put in that situation. I've never been in a situation where my, like, I get, like I said, where my mom didn't like who, whoever it was that I was dating. So I hope that helped you. I hope, you know, things get better for you. And all I can say is just see what happens. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We are, I'm going to see how, you know, how this video does. If you guys like it, then we'll keep doing them. Um, so if you like this video, definitely thumbs it up. And if you guys have any advice for this young lady, comment down below, you know, what would you guys do? Because to me, it's just, that's crazy, right? But yeah, comment what you guys would do. Um, and yeah, so definitely comment, like. And if you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. Um, and make sure that if you subscribe, to hit the bell button beside the subscribe button. That way, you can be notified on all of my new content. And also, if you hit that bell button, definitely hashtag Notification Squad or Notification Gang so that you can get a shout out on my next video. So, with that being said, bye pretty gang!